go ahead and have no place in the face. Call it's not over yet. Call out the way. Call 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 the way. I'm looking for Jesus to come in any night or in any day. Looking for him to come and take it right away. And if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come in any day. I'm looking for Jesus to come in any night or in any day. Looking for him to come and take it right away. And if he don't, don't come, come tonight, tonight, I'm looking for him, him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come in the day. Oh, People on. say oh, they believe oh, that hallelujah. Jesus will come, but you can't tell by the way they live their life. Jesus said, watch and pray, for I may come in the day, and I'll come like a thief in the night. I'm looking for Jesus to come in the night or in the day. Looking for him to come and take it right away. And if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come in the day. Jesus said in his word, that no man knows the hour. Are you looking for him? When he'll come back to earth again. When he comes, I can't say, but I believe he's on his way. Looking for Jesus to come any day. I'm looking for Jesus to come any night or any day. Looking for him to come and take his right away. And if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come any day. People say they believe that Jesus will come, but you can't tell by the way they live their lives. Jesus said, watch and pray, for I may come any day, and I'll come like a thief in the night. I'm looking, looking for Jesus to come any night or any day, looking for him to come and take his right away. And if he don't, don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight, looking for Jesus to come any day. Jesus said in his word that no man knows the hour. When he'll come back to earth again. When he comes, I can't say, but I believe he's on his way. Looking for Jesus to come any day. I'm looking, looking for Jesus to come any night or any day. Looking for him to come and take his right away. And if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come any day. Looking for Jesus to come in the night or in the day. Looking for him to come and take his right away. And if he don't come tonight, I'm looking for him at daylight. Looking for Jesus to come in the day. I'm looking for Jesus to come in the day. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm a soldier. Now if I die, I'll live again. It is for me of the Lord. Now if I die, I'll live again. It is for me of the Lord. I'm a soldier. It is for me of the Lord. Oh, I'm a soldier. It is for me of the Lord. Oh, I'm a soldier. It is for me of the Lord. Oh, I'm a soldier. It is for me of the Lord.
it's the army of the Lord. Now if I shout, let me shout. In this army of the Lord. Now if I shout, just let me shout. In this army of the Lord, I'm a soldier in this army of the Lord. Now if I run, let me run. In this army of the Lord. Now if I run, let me run. In this army of the Lord. Now if I run, let me run. In this army of the Lord, I'm a soldier in this army of the Lord. I mean, he's a soldier in the army of the Lord tonight. Thank God. Honey, I'm glad I'm one of them. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. I'm a soldier. In this army of the Lord. Oh, I'm a soldier. In this army of the Lord. Are you a soldier? In this army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in this army of the Lord. Oh, I'm a soldier in this what we've got to do tear down strongholds break the chain by the devil in jesus name tonight we gotta ride let's shake the foundation we pray come on now pray Chain by the devil in Jesus' name. Tonight we got a right to shake the foundation with praise. This is 
what we've come to do Tear down strongholds, break the chain By the devil in Jesus' name Tonight we got a right to shake the foundation with prayer Come on now pray Chains by that devil in Jesus' name. Tonight we got a right to shake the foundation we pray. Now praise Him. Now praise Him. The Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy. Now praise Him. Tonight we got a right to shake the foundation we pray. I said, we've got a right to praise him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Let's sing one more song. Hallelujah. Glory. Well, I got in the morning, I got in the night. I've got it, I've got it. I got up and in and I got it right. I've got it, I've got it. 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 Head down my feet, it got my bones all over. What the horn of the fire is up for power fell upon and talked in tongues. It got my mouth, it didn't take long. 
From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Woo! It's all over. Yeah, the it's the Holy Ghost of fire. It's the power. power. It fell upon me and told it to me. Got a mouth and didn't take long. And with my head down my feet, it got my bones and all over me. But I chopped my head down my feet. Got my bones and all over me. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Give Jesus a great big hand. I have no
feel the Holy Ghost power. Uh, amen. I'm like, oh, Jeremiah. Amen. The prophet, he said, it feels like fire. Uh, uh, shut up in my bones. Amen. Uh, honey, I tell you, some of you been closed in, housed in so long. Amen. Uh, you ought to be on fire tonight and feel like flying away. Amen. Uh, uh, praise the Lord, but thank God. Uh, honey, I believe the Lord's going to bless us tonight. Uh, he said, I'll bless you coming in. I'll bless you going 
coming out. Uh, honey, if we'll just be obedient to the word of God. Uh, honey, I feel the good spirit, the good anointing here tonight. Uh, amen. I like for if you see Brother Austin have to leave, you know he got called out. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, and you know, after a while, we're going to get called out. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, and we're going to be gone. Amen. Uh, honey, I don't care to get called out by the Lord. Amen. Uh, honey, I'm ready to go. Are you ready tonight? Uh, honey, if you're not ready tonight, you can get ready before you leave here. Uh, amen. This world holds nothing for me. Uh, Brother Larry, I'm just a passing through. I'm just a pilgrim. Uh, I'm just a stranger. Amen. But thank God, uh, honey, I'm going to a city where we won't be no strangers there. Uh, and by the way, woo, ha, da, ba, ba, you, quarter, ba, ga, ta, ya, ha. Honey, time is swiftly passing by. Uh, honey, I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of Titus, uh, amen, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh, let's go to Titus. That's T-I-T-U-S. Uh, amen, chapter 2. Uh, I'm going to begin the verse 1. Uh, honey, we're living in a time, uh, honey, that people need to walk up straight before the Lord. Uh, amen, and walk that straight path. Uh, amen, because there's somebody watching your life. Uh, there's somebody got an unseen eye on you. Uh, amen, and these other people got two eyes on you. Uh, amen, but there's an unseen eye that's looking down tonight. Uh, amen, and I thank God. Uh, honey, I don't go no words I care for him or watching me. Uh, I don't go no words that I care for him keeping an eye on me. Uh, amen, because I belong to him. Uh, amen. Do you belong to him tonight? Uh, amen. If you've got your Bible turn uh, to Titus chapter 2 and verse 1, we're going to go into the Word of God. Uh, but I'd like to dedicate this whole broadcast uh, amen to uh, uh, two people in West Virginia, uh, amen, and that's been listening to us, and I think they know who I'm talking about, uh, amen, and we ask uh, God to bless them and touch them, uh, and to everyone that's picking up this program and broadcast tonight, uh, amen, send it out to everyone, uh, honey, that's got us tuned in on the TV tonight, uh, amen, thank God to listen, uh, amen, I believe it's uh, Sister Shirley and Brother Holt, uh, amen, and they'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, amen. But the Bible said, but speak uh, and thou the things which become sound doctrine. Uh, amen. You know, this is what we need to do tonight. Uh, honey, is speak the things which become sound doctrine. Uh, honey, I want you to know we can preach the word of God uh, where people can understand. Amen. And grab a hold of it uh, and let it become sound doctrine to her years. Uh, and the Bible said that the age being be sober uh, uh, grave and tempered uh, uh, sound in faith in charity in patience uh, honey the age man uh, amen are you hearing me tonight thank God be sober uh, honey you know we got a lot of people tonight that's trying to preach the gospel uh, and they're not sober uh, honey they're drunk on the cures of this world uh, honey they're drunk on pills uh, and they're drunk on other stuff called alcohol uh, Honey, if they still stand in the presence of God huh, and try to preach the gospel, amen, to the people. Huh. Honey, the Bible said we must be sober. Huh. Amen. I don't believe a drunk man's got a right to preach. Huh. Amen. Are you hearing me tonight? Huh. Honey, I believe we got to be repent. Huh. Honey, our verse sins, amen, and call upon him. Huh. Amen. But listen to what he said. Huh. Amen. He said, be sober. Huh. Great and tempered sound in faith and charity uh, and patience. Uh, amen. And said, let the aged women likewise uh, that they be in behavior. Uh, honey, listen to the word of God as becometh wholeness. Uh, not false accusers, not given too much wine. Uh, teachers of good things. Uh, amen. That word wholeness scares people to death anymore. Uh, amen. They think wholeness is a denomination. Uh, honey, 
a wholeness is not a denomination it's a way of life are you hearing me tonight thank God we need to live holy on the undefiled before mankind my God lift up the blood stained banner on a let her life be seen on a let her works be seen on a people is a watching you you know the Bible said we become gazing stock amen I don't care how much you gaze at this old boy amen I've got nothing to hide amen I am what I am honey wherever you see me honey I'm the same old boy amen praising God lifting up holy hands before the Lord amen and the age women is supposed to teach the younger women amen how to dress how to look and what to do oh they won't accept that today amen but every church needs a mother honey of the church amen to teach the younger women amen I want you to know something honey we are supposed to please God and not man honey I'm bringing you the word of God tonight honey I'm telling you tonight the age women likewise that they be in behavior has become an wholeness not false accusers not giving too much wine teachers of good things what are we supposed to do we're supposed to teach our people the good things amen because the Lord said I will not withhold any good thing from my children and if it's not good for you you don't need it and if it's bad for you you don't need it and we need to get rid of the bad things and get to the good things amen and the Bible said that that they may teach the younger women to be sober and to love their husbands and to love their children amen I want you to know the love of God and it will cover a multitude of sin and the wife supposed to love the husband and the husband supposed to love the wife and they're both supposed to love the children and the children supposed to love them my God can I preach it to you tonight amen but we see a lot of this is not happening today amen but I want you to know something honey let us teach the younger women honey to be sober you know what most young people wants to do today honey they want to get out and go have parties and they want to live it up but honey I'm here to tell you honey the Bible said you'd enjoy sin for a season and I believe the season's about over my God let me bring something to you today honey you don't hear much preached on it today why honey because they're afraid to preach the word of God honey I'm not afraid to preach the gospel honey of Jesus Christ I'm not afraid to tell the people you gotta live right you're not going to heaven by your good works are you hearing me your good ways and things that you do honey they ain't but one way into the kingdom of God and Jesus said you must be born again honey on the water and on the spirit or you cannot enter into the kingdom of God honey I'm here to tell you Jesus told Nicodemus this amen he didn't beat around the bush about it honey Nicodemus was a great man he was a ruler of the Jews amen he went to Jesus by night and asked Jesus the question in other words what must I do to be saved and what did Jesus tell Nicodemus he said you must be born again amen Nicodemus said how can a man that is old go back into his mother's womb and be born again honey he was not talking about that that's the carnal mind amen he said flesh is flesh and spirit is spirit honey we are born one time in the flesh we are born in the spirit honey that is the second birth when you come to an altar and you kneel down and you say father forgive me of all of my sins come into my heart and life my God that's the spiritual birth that's got to take place in your life amen are you hearing me tonight well, glory I thank God tonight before we are born in the natural honey husband and wife for man and woman honey has to come together and there's a seed has to be planted honey before we can be born of the spirit we've got to come to Jesus 
we got to have fellowship with him we got to receive the spirit of God into her heart and into her life thank God and we take on another father which is her heavenly father and that's when he said I will not withhold any good thing from my children and if we'll be obedient to the word of God he said I'll bless you coming in and I'll bless you going out honey her heavenly father owns it all honey my natural father had nothing in his life are you hearing me he didn't have a farm in Georgia he didn't have a hundred head of cattle amen but I want you to know something amen it was because of him and my mother honey that I came into this world but when I was born as a babe honey God had to put the breath of life honey into this body amen we was taught when we was children honey the doctor slapped the breath of life in ya honey that's hogwash honey God put the breath of life into you and he put it into me amen when God came down and made Adam honey from the dust of the earth honey what did he do he had a body honey formed out of the ground honey but there was no life there until he got down and breathed the breath of life honey into Adam's nostrils and he became a living soul amen didn't say anything about the flesh but said he became a living soul honey that's why the flesh honey has to go back to the old mother dust honey where it came from honey but the Bible said the spirit honey has gone back to God who gave it honey and I believe that soul of man honey is going to take on a new body and that body is going to be a glorified body and the word of God said it does not yet appear what we shall be but when he appears we shall be like him my God I feel honey the anointing of God here tonight I feel something are coming down yeah man thank God honey for that sweet holy ghost amen he said to be discreet chasten keepers at home good obedient honey to their own husband that the word of God be not blaspheme be good to your own husband not someone else's husband or husband to someone else's wife amen said be good to your own amen I'm bringing you something today. Amen. If it was good, honey, the day you got married, it still ought to be good 50 years later. Are you hearing me tonight? Honey, God said he wouldn't withhold any good thing from you. Honey, I'm here to tell you about the word of God. Honey, as I said, the love of God. Honey, it covers a multitude of sin. If you want peace and you want joy, honey, in your home, honey, you obey God. Amen. A family that prays together honey stays together. I love a home that will pray together. I love a home that will put God honey first in their life. Are you hearing me? Honey praising God for everything. Praise him when it's well. Praise him when it's good. Praise him when it's bad. Praise him when you're sick. My God he's a healer honey of all things he said he took the stripe upon his back honey for mine and your healing today amen and we were healed you may be sick tonight but you still you were healed that day honey if we can accept this amen you that was here the other Sunday night boys I was sick amen I could about to cough my head off I couldn't breathe amen and I said Lord I sure do dream preaching tonight honey when I got on the floor honey God anointed me and healed my body and I didn't even know when he done it yeah 
in but Austin uh, got up at his service and said Papa uh, you didn't even cough one time uh, honey I'm here to tell you we're serving uh, honey a true and a living God uh, amen we might suffer some in this life uh, amen but he said if we suffer with him uh, we shall reign with him also uh, amen and old sin is uh, what goes around comes around uh, amen if sickness comes to your house uh, honey it'll come to my house uh, honey if death comes to your house uh, it'll come to my house uh, are you hearing me we just put chair uh, honey just long enough I believe to get ready uh, amen this is just a dressing place uh, honey to get ready to go home uh, are you hearing me tonight thank God uh, amen the Bible said young men uh, likewise exhort uh, to be sober minded uh, honey this is not only talking about the women uh, it's a talking about the men uh, honey this is a two way thing uh, it's just not a one way uh, are you hearing me uh, honey now they ain't but one way to, uh, from earth to heaven uh, and Jesus said I am the way uh, I am the truth and I am the life uh, he said if you try to climb up uh, honey some other way uh, honey you're the same as a thief and a robber uh, and boys they're trying to get in all kinds of way today uh, amen but it ain't going to work uh, I said it ain't going to work uh, we will have to go the Bible way uh, honey this Bible uh, speaks directly to me uh, and this speaks directly to you uh, and you say amen uh, there's a lot of butts and they have sin it uh, but you need to search them out uh, and see what it's a talking about uh, honey Jesus is the way uh, honey that's the way we're going to have to go uh, are you hear me don't look for another way uh, honey there ain't another way uh, and there ain't but one way to get into the kingdom of God uh, honey I don't care what people tell you uh, I don't care what they preach to you uh, I'm going to preach Jesus Christ and him crucified uh, honey and tell you he's the way uh, and without him uh, honey we're not going to make it uh, I said we're not going to make it uh, if the Bible said one Lord uh, one faith uh, and one baptism uh, then they can't be two or three uh, honey they got to be one Lord uh, one faith uh, one baptism uh, and Jesus said I am the way uh, honey we got to get in the way uh, we got to get on that way uh, honey there's a highway uh, honey that leads from earth to glory uh, and that highway uh, honey is called the wholeness highway uh, and he said there's nothing unclean uh, honey is even going to pass over it uh, honey must let's get up on it uh, we may lie to the old flesh uh, we may lie to one another uh, honey but Jesus uh, he's a God that will not lie uh, he's a God that cannot lie who the incredible sigh honey what he says is what uh, it is the truth uh, amen and the Bible said uh, you shall know the truth uh, and the truth shall set you free uh, honey a lot of people's not free tonight uh, honey because they don't know the truth uh, honey Jesus is the truth uh, you got to know who Jesus is uh, you got to know who the word is uh, you got to know who God is uh, you got to know who the father is uh, my God uh, you got to know uh, why he shed it his blood for honey without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin and my god somebody the word of the Lord it's still holiness or hell it's still holiness or it's hell it's time we gotta endure sound doctrine it's time that us young people we need to sit down and have a talk with the aged women and the aged men oh Lord 
and learn from them. My God, it's a time that we take up our cross and follow him. We live in an age they want to do it do away with holiness. Oh, there's a spirit on my generation. They don't want nothing to do with holiness. They say holiness is in the heart. Yes, they're right. But holiness will come out. Oh, Lord, you'll know a tree by the fruit it beareth. My God, you'll know a Christian by how he looks. I wish somebody would hear me. I hear the Apostle Paul say, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the rudiments and after the traditions. Oh, after the tradition of men and the rudiments of this world and not in Christ. And verse 9 said, For in him who Christ dwelled, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. My God, it's going to take holiness. If you're going to make it, you're going to have to get in Jesus. Somebody praise him. Somebody ought to praise them right now. It's still holiness or hell. It's still holiness or hell. Oh, Lord. If my papa had to be holiness at age 20, I got to be holiness at age 20. God hasn't changed his word. Oh, somebody praise him. God hasn't changed his word. He hasn't waited almost 2,000 years just to show up and say, all right, you don't have to do it anymore. No, beware, beware, beware. Lest any man spoil you. Oh, spoil means destroy, the ruin. Beware lest any man ruin you. Oh, after the tradition of man, after philosophy, after the rudiments of this world. Paul was standing up on Mars Hill. Katala Parataya. In Acts chapter 17, he was standing on Mars Hill. Oh, and he went by the hill had all these altars built up to all these different gods oh the bible said where Paul went the spirit the people were stirred everywhere he went it says twice he went to two places and the people got stirred because of Paul what Paul had in him but when Paul got to Mars Hill the bible said that Paul got Got stirred in his spirit because he saw an altar and on the altar it said to the unknown God oh they built an altar for just in case they missed one to the unknown God oh Paul ran into some philosophers that day the Bible said he ran into Stoics that day and he got up on the hill